Oh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, say hi. Uh, and hi. YouTube. And YouTube. Don't I forget to greet the YouTube. YouTube. And, and, and we've referred to Facebook as the evil book of Facebook. Yes. 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 Okay. As do you, right, people? Thank you. Ah, cool. Yeah. Fun. Are you having fun out there? We're going to have a little Vincent Price birthday fun because his birthday is the 27th of May, which was yesterday. Maybe not quite yet if you're time traveling, which we do often here in the realm. Ah, so we're going to have a little, uh, a little Vincent Price fun. I believe you saw one of the trailers already because we needed to try and entertain you while you waited for the tech to cooperate. Ah, right? Are you having fun? Yeah, I am now. Uh, yeah, it's better now. It's better now. How are you doing, Mr. Vinny? I'm okay. Miss Dotty Pants is in the YouTube chat. All right. Who's in the YouTube oh, chat? I see. I see what's going on. We got Facebook and YouTubers a lot. Yeah, they will. Into, yeah, the 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 the, the streamyard. So will, Kelly says hi, Kelly. Hi. Yay. So hi, yeah. Join us if you're on YouTube. We're we're here. So join us. Um, if you're over on the other platform, uh, please remember to go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, turn on your notifications, hit that little bell and turn it on, and you'll know on there. It'll tell you when we are uh, going live and everything. Melly is blaming it all on Mercury because it's in retrograde. Ah, the evil Mercury in retrograde, right? Well, that it, all. it could be. But if I fed them enough fiber brownies, everything will be in retrograde soon. It'll be fabulous. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. All right. Come back. I, you, you know what I'll tell you? A nice hot <laughs> cup of coffee with a couple of those things, they'll clean you right out, mister. <laughs> That's right. Lovely. Who needs probiotics when you have Ron's brownies? That's right. Okay. I made black bean brownies. And they're awesome, aren't they? They're they are good. awesome. Yes. They're good. Um but there's a lot of fiber in there, so be careful if you try that recipe yourself. If you want the recipe, or you want Kelly and I to make a tutorial, you let us know in the chat, right? Yeah. Well, right. good thing it's not smellorama here today. Mm. <laughs> Somebody uh, asked about Voodoo Baby. Ah, uh, a Voodoo a Baby. Uh, Voodoo Baby um, might be on later. He might not because of all this other crazy crap happening tonight. But we'll get you more Voodoo Baby. Do you want more Voodoo Baby? Let me see you. Chat, type in the chat, more Voodoo Baby. I want more Voodoo Baby. Oh, well, that sounds kinky. Yeah. I like that. He likes you. Oh. He likes you a lot. Yes, he does. We haven't had enough time together. No, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. You haven't had your on-camera meeting mm -hmm. with Voodoo Baby yet, no. have you? Uh -uh. We shall fix that, people. Won't we? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We were, we were busy trying to fix Kelly's boots, which came apart during the Monster Mash video shoot. <laughs> <laughs> they are in their coffin right now. Yes, they are. Resting until we get some E6000 on those damn things. Mm. And again, um, if you'd like one of the awesome Rich Gerald Brown mugs, it is in the, uh, the Gear Bubble store. And we'll ship one right out to you if you would like to go. Get one along with the t-shirts and everything else so remember you know get yourself some delicious realm merch nice and it's in 3d come on people there you go look at that yeah. queen of horror makeup says more voodoo baby more voodoo baby says boobs. we will get you more voodoo baby <laughs> everybody everybody loves voodoo baby oh nancy marie we did uh you were more voodoo baby done thank you. all right Thank you, Nancy. Housemate of Dawn. Love Voodoo Baby. Everybody. Well, you know, Voodoo Baby will make an appearance in the video. And we will talk about, we started shooting the Monster Mash video, the actual video for uh, the song I did along with the uh, the ap aforement previously mentioned and very awesome band, Housemate of Dawn, who are in the house tonight. You can, you can talk to the band in the chat and tell them how wonderful they are and... Um, and uh, well, they'll they'll say thank you <laughs> and tell you where to get their music on Spotify and everywhere else. There's links on on the videos on on YouTube, uh, and there are you can find them anywhere you get your music. You know, Spotify, Amazon. They're they're on YouTube as well. And I have the songs uh, that we have done jointly are are on 
on their on their uh, YouTube as well as mine. They're they're parked on there for you guys to go and enjoy and listen to. And we're going to talk in just a minute here about um, how we were all working on the uh, new Monster Mash video. But first, uh, let's go back to um, our star of the evening, uh, Vincent Price. You guys, Vincent Price fans out there, let me hear. Type, type. We love Vincent down in the chat because Vinny will think that's for him too. So, show, show both Mr. Vinny some love. Mm. Oh, I have to go back to comments. Okay. What's that? Can you go back to the? Uh, he's, he's checking the chat. He needs your logo on his diaper. That would be a dope AF. <laughs> Uh, well, I've been I've been thinking about changing up his his uh, wardrobe, which is very little. It's basically the diaper and some little booties, um, and he has a he has like a, a safety pin earring because Voodoo Baby is very punk. So I've been thinking about making the diaper and the boots black. What do you think of that? We we, we go a little more goth with Voodoo Baby, Maybe. and I thought like I, I thought so. The, the logo is so small. I don't think you see that on his diaper. So I was thinking about putting a big old skull right on his Voodoo Baby junk. Let me know about that in the chat. You seem to like that idea, don't you? I think that'd make up sexy Voodoo Baby. Uh, there you go. So we'll put a big skull right on Voodoo Baby's junk. Get him a black diaper, big skull on it, and some like little Voodoo Baby Doc Martens or something. That would rad. That's rad? Okay, good. Uh, Kelly like likes it. the idea. Yeah. So good. All right. We'll, we'll make a little wardrobe change. Um, Christopher Lee's birthday, too. Is it the same? I, I believe that's right. Yeah, it is the same day. That is awesome. It's a good day to be a, a, a horror icon. And speaking of horror icons, um, put up that first picture with a kind of reddish background. Here's the man uh, whose birthday was yesterday, uh, Vincent Price, who was born in St. Louis on, uh, let me see, May 27th. And in 1911. So if Vincent were still alive, he'd be well over 100 years old. Uh, and yeah. Like yeah. What's that? Like me. Like you. Yeah. Mr. Vinny, well over 100 years old. Uh, and he passed beyond the veil of the mortal into the realm of the dead on October 25th, 1993. So that's when he disappeared on us and we, everybody saying we love Vincent I thought they were talking about me they they are they are, they are. come uh, here Mr. Vinny come here come here and say hi just come over here and stick your face in the camera for a minute get my face in the camera put your well if you put something else in the camera they they, they might not let us stay on the platform <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're welcome he strips on the That's weekend. That's a rumor. Around. It's a dirty, dirty rumor. It's not true. It, Only it, half of it. It's completely true, people. Believe every bit of it. Yeah, it's a you. short story. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> well, give me oh, her well, number. Right? Yeah. All right. So, um, but, and, and then, uh, so, you know, I mean, because Vinny and I, as you know, are both, we made Dark Realm together. And his character is named Price in there because Vincent Price. It's a yes. it, it's it's a little a, it's a little homage we put in to uh, Vincent Price in Dark Realm because we love him as much as you do. Um, show him uh, show him the other picture on there. Uh, we, we have a couple of uh, this is the uh, which one uh, the one the poster for the Mad Magician. Ta da! Ta -da! Of course, I don't know how to get it over to the left or the right. But. No, it'll just it'll just put it in the center, and that's um, fine. I'll talk. It'll it's a, that's why it's called an overlay. So I talk while it lays over Kelly and me. Um, and this was one of the movies that was an inspiration for Dark Realm because it was a horror movie with a, a, you know an evil magician in it. The the major influence is, of course, uh, as I've talked about many times, is The Wizard of Gore by Herschel Gordon Lewis from like 70 or 71, I believe that's from. And and that's that's the main influence for Dark Realm. And uh, this, The Mad Magician with Vincent Price, is definitely another one that uh, that we, you know, which of course is why we got a little a little Easter egg in, in Vinny's name in the movie in there for Vincent Price because of uh, The Mad Magician. And uh, what else do we have? There's one for The Raven, isn't there? 
Well, we have a trailer. Oh, House of Haunted Hill. Show them the house on Haunted Hill. We got a nice, a nice graphic for that. A nice yeah. image. And that covers both of you all. Completely. Yeah, that that nukes the whole screen out and gives you nothing but Vincent Price. Wah, ah, ah. Well, and TCC. So. Mm -hmm. And then we've got one. Well, I'll get to the other one. You can you can take that out. We're gonna run. Okay. Did we run both the trailers already? No, we did not. We have the Raven trailer yet. Okay, we're gonna run the Raven trailer. Um, I, well, I think right now we're gonna, let's, uh, you, are you ready to see Vincent Price in the Raven trailer? It's one of the favorites. It's one of those Roger Corman movies from the sixties. That's all based on Edgar Allan Poe. So let's watch the Raven trailer together. And then, uh, you know, there's a, there's another little connection to another movie Vinny and I are in together, uh, with that movie. And, and I'll tell you about that when we come back from the trailer. Enjoy. Well, I'm trying to get the trailer to play the big screen. Let's see. All right. You got it? Uh, I hope so. Just click it. Click it and tick it. Mm -hmm. It's more fun when shit works. <laughs> Desires transcend the reality. Hazel's boobies. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The mysterious powers of black <coughs> magic. These you will explore. Now, what is it you need? You got some dry blood of bat in the house. Yeah. 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 Are you playing with that? Yeah. It has oh, a major damage. Yeah. I know. He's like, okay. he's shedding on you. Yeah. Which is always great in black clothes, right? Yeah. The secret of your hand manipulation. Is all <laughs> okay. Can I hear you hand manipulation? <laughs> <laughs> I love this trailer. This is no answer. Very well, then. Adieu to the death. Oh, I see the inspiration for the other movie. You see what? The inspiration for Magnus. Uh, uh huh. Yes. It is. Yeah. John told me that. It's it's the whole fight with the, between the two of them. That's because the the original title of Vegas was Wizard Battle, which sounds like an eighties video game. <laughs> yeah, that's you're good. back. We are back. There you go. That was the trailer, of course, for The Raven, uh, you know, by Roger Corman, starring. Uh, Vincent Price, as well as um, uh, Boris Karloff and Peter Lorre, and that was a that movie was an inspiration for the movie that Vinny and I are in, by John Ridman, directed by John Lachago, called Magus. And I've run the Magus trailer on here for you before, um, or you can you check it out on your own. But it's it's very it's about you know the original title to Magus was Wizard Battle, which is kind of what you have at the end of the Raven there. And, and Wizard Battle just sounds like an 80s video game. So John eventually, you know, changed it to Magus. Actually, for a minute, it was Dark Magus, which is funny because that's like Dark Realm. That would have been weird to have Dark Magus and Dark Realm back to back. But finally, he just went with Magus. So, And that was inspired by The Raven, written by Edgar Allan Poe. But loosely, as you can tell, it's loosely based on Poe's poem of the same name. So... Lots of fun there. Shall we? Do we need to run the other one again, or no? It's on. We're good. All right. We're gonna we're gonna leave that then, and we're gonna move on and talk about some of the other awesome things. I mean, the reason that Vincent Price, well, I consider him to be really well. My term for him is upscale sinister, kind of like Michelle Gomez on Doctor Who. It's an upscale kind of sinister, and it's fun, 
And it's just the greatest thing. He had a, a great, with that voice and everything, a great sophistication. Early in his career, you know, when he was young and, and he was a young, handsome dude, and he played a lot of leading roles. And then later, he started to get asked to do these horror films. And, and from that point on, that's where he was leaning into that. And some of the, you know, all those early ones he did. House on Haunted Hill, you guys all know that one. Uh, one of my favorite, The Fly. And what is there? House on Haunted Hill, of course. Um, and there's a bunch of House of Wax is another one. Um, and then they, I think most of them that went. House of Wax, there was a remake where famously they kill Paris Hilton. And it's really fun to watch them kill her over and over and over again when you wind that back. <laughs> Isn't it? Of course it is. All right. So, um, but watch the original. Forget the remake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Original. Yeah. yeah, yes. With all of these. Watch the original, watch Vincent. Um, but he did give great upscale Sinister. And part of that was because in his personal life, Vincent Price was a very cultured man. He was into art. In fact, we have a, an overlay of him selling art. He sold art through, you know, Sears, the department store. And, and he wanted to make art more accessible to, you know, mainstream America. And he started, you know, uh, being the pitch man, selling art. Do you have that up there? It's up there. Yeah. So, and that's, that's, this is one of the early images uh, from, from his art sales with Sears of all places. You would never think of Sears selling art, but they actually did. I think that was back in the 60s, early 70s, something like that. And, and if you take that down, I have, he was also, besides art, he was also cultured in the ways he loved to cook. And I have a copy, have a big old honking copy of the Vincent Price cookbook. There's actually two of these. And uh, and and he and his wife, his second wife, I believe Mary was her name. And they wrote this together. See? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I've never seen that. No, really? Uh, yeah, yeah a lot of people that. don't don't even know about this thing. Well, it, you know, in the chat, Type in there if you want us to make a recipe from the Vincent Price cookbook on the show one night, um, or maybe just make a show out of it so we can record it and not have the technical problems we did on, on tonight's stream. Um, let us know in the chat. Put in the chat that you want to see us make something from the cookbook, because I've been considering that, and I want to know what you guys think of that. So down in the chat, let us know. Let me know if you want to see that. And this is really cool because... Vincent, of course, is gone, but I, and I couldn't find the picture to put in there for you. I'll show it to you later. Um, his daughter, Victoria, now goes off to a lot of horror conventions and things. Maybe some of you have met her. And Victoria actually signed, how am I, am I framed up You're okay? good. I good. can read it perfectly. All right, perfect. To Master Ron Bon Appetit, my very best um, Victoria Price. Yeah. And so Victoria signed it for me. She is awesome. If you ever get a chance to meet Victoria, go say hi. Tell, tell her the Realm Lord sent you. Actually, just say Ron Fitzgerald because I don't think she knows me by the Realm Lord, but she actually watched the show. She was enjoying me eating razor blades <laughs> while she ran the cookbook back over to my table. Was that before or after Dark Realm? Um, when, when I met her? Yeah. I've met her a couple of times, and I'm going to say after when I got the cookbook. Because actually, my mom, my dear sweet mom, got this for me online from their website, thevincentprice.com. A lot of great resources there. You can get the cookbooks there. And my mom got me the cookbook. And then I took it to the convention where I knew she was going to be a guest. I was performing. I was a guest there. Uh, and she signed it for me there. I and just then, wondered if you gave her a DVD of Dark Realm for her enjoyment. Uh, I I'm, I think I did. Oh, Ron. I think I did. Housemate of Dawn said Vincent Price brownies. He also said I think that he lived near the house that uh, was they filmed uh, House on Haunted Hill. Really? How awesome is that? Because the band Housemate of Dawn is out in L.A., Surrounded by all that wonderful. And Nancy said, I guess back to cooking a recipe on the show, that would be very cool if accompanied by film clips. Mm. So you could do film clips from his movies as you make spaghetti a la Vincent Price. 
Yes, actually, Victoria said her favorite recipe in the book was there's a, a certain recipe for asparagus. And I don't know if she's vegetarian or vegan. I didn't I didn't ask her at the time. Um, but uh, maybe we'll make that. Maybe we'll make Victoria's favorite. I don't know what Vincent's was. Maybe I can message her and find out. Oh, and Tiffany said, please. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So maybe we'll do that. I do love I do love the idea of mixing in the the clips from some movie uh, trailers and movies and stuff because that could be fun. That could be very fun. So who made that suggestion? That's a great suggestion. Thank you. Okay. That was Nancy. Who? Who? Nancy Marie. Nancy, thank you. That's a great idea, Nancy. Awesome. Yeah, you I like, like that idea. Yes. How are you in the kitchen? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. All right. I had a whole COVID cookbook album on <laughs> Facebook. So perfect. Everybody, everybody was at home doing a lot of cooking. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then you'll probably see that in the future. But that's how cool he was because he was he was he, he was able to give us that wonderful upscale sinister because he was very he was a very cultured dude. So Don't forget the pit in the pendulum. Mm -hmm. Ooh yes, we yes. like that one too. I like that one. Yeah, that's a favorite, isn't it? Yeah. So what's your tell it's us in the chat? What's your favorite Vincent Price movie? movie? It's a real swinging movie. <laughs> See, Vin, Vinny thought it was about kinky swingers, and then he found out it was the actual <laughs> pit in the pendulum. And he stayed and watched anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Very fun. So, have you guys liked our little birthday tribute to Vincent Price? No comments yet. No comments yet. There's a bit of a lag. Laura and Edward Scissorhand. Edward Scissorhand. That was his last actual on-screen oh. appearance. His very last movie was like The Mouse Detective. He he was just doing a voice. Uh, Queen of Horrors at The Fly. Oh, yeah, The Fly's a favorite. Tiffany, uh, Fall of the House of Usher, oh, and The Bit and The Pendulum. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I like in Elvira's movie, the Elvira's Haunted Hills, she does a little Pit and the Pendulum action, which is very amusing. <laughs> Nancy Marie, mm -hmm. oh, Pit and Pendulum, yes. See, That's I'm very always, popular with you I'm guys. I'm always right. You See, are I'm right. You, Vinny, right. Vinny has his finger on the pulse of the zeitgeist, so <laughs> he knew. I'm very fond of The Raven, House on Haunted Hill. Um, oh, there's a bunch of them. And I love The Fly. I do. I, I'm like I'm like you. Yeah, guys. much better than the new remake, yes. Of The Fly? Yeah. Oh, the, the original's got its own thing. The, the, the whole, help me, help me, at the end is super creepy. I love that. Um, but, do that. But the remake, that's one of the few remakes that I actually really love. The remake with Jeff Goldblum oh. and, and Gina Davis, that, it, no, because they turned it, when they turned it into a gene splicer, that's, that's yeah, I love that. House thing. Made of Dawn is House of Wax. Jeez. There you go. The original House of Wax is awesome. We will, we will coat the band in wax for you, and then you can watch them break out of the wax as, right. they, as they sing Monster Mash. You're at the 42-minute <laughs> mark, so. Okay, thank you. So let's get into our Monster Mash fun, yeah, since yeah. we have the band in attendance and all of you lovely, 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 lovely creatures of the night with us. Um, we recently, uh, Kelly was on set with us, and I was there, and um, and the, the lovely and talented Mr. Vinny, we were all starting production on um, on the actual music video the for Monster up, Mash. Pictures up of the three of them. What's that? Jessica, Mel, oh, good. and Kelly are on screen now. There's, there, yeah, there is Jessica, Mel, and picture. Kelly. On, well, you're pole dancing. Okay. The poles. Well, they're pole standing right now. <laughs> yeah. And then it's a three-pole salute then to the ladies. The Back behind the scene where you can see the back of me shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're back to YouTube. Now we're back. So you can see we're having fun there on the set. Actually, would you like to take a little set visit with us? We were down. They found this great location out. Um, can I say where it was? Uh, 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 no. It's in an okay. This is an and undisclosed we, we, bat we cave. Technically, we weren't supposed to be. No, there. I know that's why. That's why I asked you before I opened my mouth about. It. So it, it it's in a secret location, 
and we had to travel a little well to get there. And it's, uh, shall we say, subterranean, as you'll be able to see from, you can see kind of from one of the photos, made a great set, but it smelled like Satan's bunghole down there, didn't it? It was worse than that. It was worse than Satan's bunghole. When were you smelling Satan's bunghole? When when did you do that? Like died in Satan's bunghole. What's that? When did you smell Satan's butthole? To uh, every yes. moment we were on set oh. is when I smelled Satan's bunghole. We all did. I mean, originally, where did you smell Satan's butthole? Um, well, it, it was a, it was a scratch and sniff card I got in a magazine in the seventies that you got from hell. Yeah, <laughs> I, it was in the little issue of Fangoria. I said, "Well, hell, I'll buy that." Yeah, right, I'm going to play the clip now, and you can. <laughs> Here we go. Me, at some point, I want to get Igor dancing with them as well. Are we going to shoot all the forces like this and then move on to other shots with all the forces? Because I, I, we've yeah, had this, it on people inside out Because <laughs> this is Velcro, so I'm sure there's a loop somewhere. I was working in my lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. Yes, but okay. When my monster from her slab began to rise. <laughs> Again. Okay. Okay. And rise. All right, we are back. That was our little uh, edit of uh, our behind the scenes look at the making of our Monster Mash video, which you're not going to see the video finish till into the fall by the time we get it all all the whistles and bells on it and get uh, and get it uh, ready for you for the Halloween season. So it'll be a few months because we have to go craft this thing like a monster and stitch bits of it together. Queen of Horror says, wow. Tiffany says, looks great. Awesome. Yeah, let us know what you think. I'm glad you guys like it. And I mean, because that's just a very basic look at us, you know, on set shooting. And imagine, you know, down there working and it smells like Satan's bunghole. Right? Yeah. So what did you think? Did you have fun down in the set? Yeah, it was a beautiful set. I don't think we could have found a better location. No, it worked pretty great. I, I think that I think uh, he and, and our, our um, DP, John Gilchrist, who also worked on Dark Realm, um, I think they chose it simply because there were three poles and they could envision you guys dancing on the poles. 
Yeah. I think that was our – was that your whole decision, Mr. Vinny? What? What? I – what makes you think something like that? That would be a yes. Oh, yeah. Do you, you want to come on set for a minute and say hi and tell them about directing us and how how horrible that was for you? What am I supposed to say? Have a seat. Come sit. Have a seat. Okay. We'll get you a cortisone shot. We'll get you a seat. What else do you need? More brownies? Dancing girls. On Dancing oh. girls. Oh, well, we, oh, we have that on, on video. Yeah. No, it was just a dark. We didn't expect it to be that smelly. It wasn't when we first saw that location. They were having, I believe, they were having some sort of a sewer yeah. issue because you would actually smell Satan's bunghole outside of this particular. I still don't venue. know. That means you were sniffing around Satan's bunghole at some time, so you'd have something to compare it. To. I told you, scratch and sniff card in an old That's issue right. of Fangoria. Come now. on. Okay. Anyway, it was fun, um, and we got we got some more shooting to do. So basically, you take about 45 minutes to an hour's worth of footage, and you condense it to four minutes of video time. Yeah, Long it'll be like that. Yes, I'm yeah. a slave over my yes. editing machine. And, you know, the band will be in there, too. So House Made you'll of get, Dawn. Yeah, you'll get a look at House Made of Dawn in this thing as well. Or at least their fingers. Yes. The chopped off. No, I mean, not chopped off. I did too. Mm -hmm. As we make monsters out of them. Ah, ah, ah. And maybe some guest appearances here or there. Look. Yes, we're working on a few guest surprises for the video as well. Okay, shall I go back now? Uh, good, ladies and gentlemen. A, a nice a nice bit of love in the chat for Mr. Vinny. Actually, actually, hang on a minute. What? Do you have any questions for the director well, uh, of the video? I have to go over there to see the questions. Um, oh, that's true. You do. Yeah. All right. I can go over there and answer them, though. I, I, I'll, we'll be able to hear you on the camera. Yeah. You can yeah. hear me. It's like, you know. All right. You can still put your, I can't leave him out here because he's got to read them, but. Um, <laughs> Who are uh, the other two ladies, please? Yeah. Well, a big thank you to all three of them, uh, to Melanie and to Jessica and Kelly and Ed the Deadhead. Ed, Ed was there. I don't think we used him that much that day. No. But and, and will be in and will be in the video as will yes but the other two well one one was the direct the, the videographer's significant other mm -hmm. that was mel mel and the yes. other one the uh, housemaid of dawn nice to see you too housemaid of dawn yay uh, great hair mr Vinny. oh thank you queen of horror she I wants to come over and give you a mohawk now a mohawk just Oh, Mohawk. No. Yeah. What Should I keep it going? I was thinking of cutting it, but I think I'm going to let it grow. He's been very shaggy before. It actually looked pretty great on him. So I don't know. Vote, vote whether he should continue to grow his hair in the chat or whether he should, you know, leave it there or whether he should shave it off and match me. Oh. Have you ever done the whole shave thing? Yes. Oh, have you? Uh -huh. I went pick. I've never seen you. I've seen you with with long, really long and short, um, but I have never seen you completely sh shave your head. No cutting. No cutting. The ladies like the hair. I guess. When, when I had long blonde hair, nobody wanted me to cut it. <laughs> and the what hair? did I do? I shaved my freaking head, and then it, it worked. But oh, Tiffany figured out my shirt. It's anime from Japan. There you go. Yes. The shirt is actually from Japan. It has a Japanese label. Yes, Evangelion. Evangelion. Yes. Uh, yeah, everybody wants the long hair. Keep growing, keep growing, no cutting. Grow the hair, but shave the face. That's so hard to do. I just shave everything, and I do mean everything. Oh, well, you're welcome. Okay, yeah. then you go, but okay. Make up your mind, how <laughs> I mean, I, I can't grow my hair and then shave his head on camera. That doesn't work. Uh, made me cry when you cut your hair, Ron. Who was who's who's Nancy said? Marie? Oh, Nancy. Sorry, Nancy. I mean, sometimes you need a change. So, I for those of you who don't know, go watch some of the old uh, cable TV shows, the Fitzgerald's Realm, like cult classic cable TV show. Um, it's got a whole playlist on the YouTube channel. You can watch them there, and you'll see what what uh, what Nancy is missing. I had long blonde hair, and I looked like the secret love child of of the Goblin King from Labyrinth and the Vampire of the Stop. That's yes. exactly what I look like. So <laughs> why don't we have a picture of you with 
Um, you can look in the photos. I don't think it's in there right now. I don't think it's in. I should have. I should have uh, put one in. I didn't know we were going to get into that hair topic. Oh, well, yeah. I'll put one. I'll put one in. You, you know? can Google. Google Ron Fitzgerald. I'm sure there's a hair picture in there. Is it mm, on? You have to go way back because this has been shaved so long that most of them that you'll find online are all shaved head. In fact, a lot of people now are are shocked when they go back and see the old footage of, of, of shows long from years ago. And they're very surprised that I had long blonde. Oh, okay. Not even on the, the your, your dot com? Your web page? No. Oh, okay. No, I had to put one on there. I made a, I made a nice image that will have to go on there. Um, it'll be, it'll have to be the cover of the book, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it, it's me now and then three different versions of me going back. It's kind of like Doctor Who showing you the former regenerations. I have like, you know, four of my regenerations all in one one photo. And it going all the way back from me here, all the way back to a picture of me looking like Luke Skywalker with a dove. So... You're welcome. Well, that's right. Hey, I watched the uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. What did What did you think of Obi Wan Kenobi? I like. I didn't actually. I didn't know they actually got Ewan McGregor to do it. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, Hayden Christensen's in it too. We will have we will have real real live Darth Vader in there soon. Wow. Yeah. Yep. You saw a little sneak peek of him at the end of Episode Two. Definitely love it. Yeah, it's really good. If you like the prequels, especially. You'll love the series. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit, you know, because I, I know some of some of Disney Star Wars has let us down in a big way. But I liked this. I thought it was good. You know, Osprey of Dawn said you shaved it back in like 1997, right? Is that for me or Ron? That must be me, right? You uh, shaved so, so, it back in like 1997, right? Your hair? Your are hair? you are you talking about me or Vinny? Maybe you. I think he's thinking about me. I shaved it all off. I went, it was funny because I, I went from, I went from long blonde yeah, right Ron, to this. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, uh, I was, there was uh, 2003. Oh, so. He was close. Yeah. I, I hit the millennium with a lot of new stuff going on. I wanted something that was a little more. I guess a harder look because the old long blonde and then the eyeliner and everything, which I'm still doing. Um, but uh, the, the, it was very androgynous and I loved it. It was, it was great fun at the time. And see that it had kind of a, kind of a, I guess a, a glam rock band from the eighties kind of look to it. But I thought I'd really played out that look. So it was time and it wasn't looking so good. It was fried and dyed and, you know, and thinning and it was just, it was time for a change. So, I just dove in and shaved it all off because I always wondered what that would look like. And then, I, so I went from kind of like the vampire Lestat goblin King look right into hardcore, like, you know, industrial necromancer, I guess. So whatever you would call it, um, to certainly Nosferatu from Lestat to Nosferatu. And that's when the look radically changed. And then all of a sudden I just changed the photos on my website from the long blonde to a shaved head look. And everybody, especially the, the people that knew me in the in the magic community, the other magi, everybody thought I did it as a joke. Like I just photoshopped it. And I'm like, nope, I shaved it. And people freaked out. It was great. I got a nice reaction out of it. I cannot find you as long yet. Oh well. I was looking. I was searching the web, but I could not find anything. No, it's been so long ago now that that you have to really I, I don't know of too many places that have they got my porn from 1972 in there i yeah mm -hmm. you got that i'm just we, kidding folks kidding we we have that we have the fangoria with the scratch and sniff uh satan's bunghole card from uh -huh. the 70s yeah so i was made john so it was freshly shaped for magus yes actually john john lachago who made magus was surprised because i had not informed him of this before I was cast, but not, we hadn't started shooting. Wait, so then you had, you had hair and blood now? I did. Ah. When we met, yeah, because Vinny and I met on John's movie, Blood Gnome is where we met. And I did, I still, it was a little shorter then, but I still had blonde hair. So if you want to see him with long blonde hair, 
Watch Blood Gnome. Blood Gnome, or if you want to see it where I look like Iggy Pop going to a rave, watch the item. And the item's oh. cool because it went to Sundance, but be prepared. The item is a weird ass ride, people. Uh, written and directed by a uh, Dan Clark. It's just a it's a it's if you love freaky movies, it's it's crime drama, it's horror, it's sci-fi, and straight up weirdness, and a few other surprises. You'll love that damn movie. But that thing went to Sundance. And uh, and I still have long blonde hair in that. And a silver and a silver PVC suit. It's awesome. <laughs> well, they got to be uh, kind of like, see, I can see the top of your head, but that was it. Okay. Yeah. So we did. And, and then, so in the beginning of Magus, actually, when I, when you first see me in the movie, I have long blonde hair. And that is a very expensive wig that um that came to us and was kind of styled uh through our awesome friend uh mike mosher who's a you know he's a he's the makeup guy and he's he's out in atlanta now working on shows and he's awesome mike is a great dude and i've known him for a long long time he's also uh works in the magic space with wacko magic and and we met in back in the 80s when we were both working for paul osborne in amusement parks and uh, and he came in to, you know, to do a little bit of work on Magus and he got me set up with a long blonde wig. And then uh, my, uh, my lovely companion in the movie, Sen, played by um, Ava Derrick, then shaves my head in the movie. So I, so I kind of kind of the, the, the head shave kind of was a chronicle and in, in, in documented almost in Magus. Here at one hour. We're at an hour. All right, kids. Uh, any more questions about Monster Mash or any other questions in general before we are headed out of here? Because we hit the hour mark and we're trying to keep it. We try to keep the, the, the live streams mostly at about an hour mark. Um, we're working on um, doing other fun things uh, coming up over the summer, like finally getting around to hot, uh, our um, hot tub full of goth girls. I think this is going to finally happen for you guys. <laughs> and recipes from the Vincent Price cookbook. And recipes from the Vincent Price cookbook. Yes. Well, there will be a cooking segment coming up, too, which you might see. Hang on. We found an old photo. Did you really? A house made of dawn. Ah, there you go. Uh, I don't know how to post it. So can you send me the link, Mr. House made of dawn? We figured it out before. How do we do that before? Can you put it in the comments? Yeah. If you, if you, uh, if HMOD, if, if you can, um, I think that, are you talking to Alpha or are you talking to Bliss? I, this house made of dawn. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I didn't know who was running which one. Because uh, they're both in there right now. Um, if you can, if you can download it in your device and just put it up in, in the chat, then people will be able to see it. Liz is trying to get it into the YouTube chat. Cool. So yeah. on the YouTube chat, you'll be able to see it in there. And is there a way for me to put it in the studio, in the stream yard? Um, I don't know, because that would require us to... Where did she find it? Where did you find it? Do you know where you found the... Can you send him the link? If you send Mr. Vinny the link or put a link in the chat, he might be able to get it and then get it into the studio. I'm not sure if we can do it while we're live. And we've had so much technical fun tonight. That might just crash the whole damn show. But we're working on it for you. Google, I think. What, what did she Google? Google, I think, uh, but I tried Google. I didn't see you in there. From now on, I'll just leave one parked in the in the overlays yes. in the studio. Anything else? You're yeah, anything. So we're gonna go. I don't know. You you'll be able to see it in the in the YouTube comments. So do we have any other any other questions, comments, anything before we are out of here? Because we're gonna wrap up in just a second. And Mr. Vinny, do you know the one to, to play at the end? Uh, no. 
The one, pick the one where you can see me with the cane and the swirling background, the black and white background. Oh, shoot. Behind. Oh. Uh, I thought it was you with long hair. Yeah. It was uh, Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, that's funny, though. I mean, that's pretty good. Have you guys been watching any of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff? It's, uh. Oh, the link is Ron with hair, so we'll try that. Ron with hair. There you go. We got a link. I don't know how you're going to get it in, in studio to share with everybody right now. Let's Ron with <laughs> They're all Ron Beasley from. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. I'm getting Ron Beasley from. Nice. Uh, Harry Potter. Right. Yes. I, I look like one of the, um, what are those guys? The, uh, um, the Malfoys. With the long blonde hair in Harry Potter? No, I'll try Ron Fitzgerald with hair. Let's see what that. I don't know if that'll give you anything because I don't know if I've ever tagged anything with that. Well, I don't know how she got it that way. I don't know. Uh, She's clever, clever, and she does all the she does all the online marketing. There's for the Zelda band. Fitzgerald. Yeah. Dear Aunt Zelda. Oh, I tried, dear. Uh, we'll get it for you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, okay. What am I looking for? Uh, check, just check the chat and see if there, we have any, any no, last, what's the closing clip here? You know? Oh, um, do you know the one with the, the spinning pinwheel background? Oh, Ron Fitzgerald end screen. There you go. Are we ready? Well, there's that. And there's also the subscribe, like comment, which I guess I could tell them by saying subscribe, like comment, tell them Kelly. Subscribe, like, comment. There you go. You heard it from Kelly, everybody. And you don't want to make her mad. So, or disappoint her right. and break her heart. Say so, goodbye. What's that? Say bye. Ah, uh, no, we want to. Are you ready? If you're ready. Right, I, I guess kind of sort of. Thank you again for joining us. You guys are awesome. I love all of you creatures of the night. Uh, remember to have, uh, you know, may all your days and especially your rainy nights be extremely dark and sticky. Jealousy, screen, waiting.